Well, another season's upon us. Uh, summer seemed like it went quick, and I uh, can't believe the season's already here for 2014-15. Uh, uh, I know expectations are high throughout the league with uh, obviously East Stroudsburg, IUP, and Gannon returning most of their team. So you would have to think they were the top three teams going into this season. Uh, East Stroudsburg has dominated the East over the last few years, as is Indiana and Gannon since I've been here. IUP and Gannon have won the West all six seasons combined, either by via tie or outright. So. Uh, we need to get better to get to their level, obviously. They uh, both have good teams and very well coached, and we need to uh, increase our uh, performance to, to get to their level. Um, obviously, last year we ended the season with a double overtime loss to Gannon in the second round of the conference tournament. Uh, it was a disappointing end. We had numerous times to, we thought chances to win the game, so... Uh, and then we obviously went to postseason play and lost in the first round. So both uh, our last two games left a really uh, poor taste in our mouth going into this 14-15 season. Um, I think people who know the Slippery Rock team, we're going to basically do what we've been doing. We're a team built on defense and athleticism, very much like the Royals, Pirates, and or uh, Rays in baseball where uh, they have a lot of good athletes that play a lot of good defense and uh, offensively uh, try to uh, play well uh, as well as we can in that end so we need to get better offensively. Right, Antonio Butler and uh, Cornelius Brown uh, are two returning starters obviously Antonio had a great ending of the season for us ended up being the, in our last 10 games second leading scorer and Cornelius coming at the break and uh, and eventually earning a starting spot throughout the late part of the season I think the last seven games or six games so to speak uh, have to ver uh, do a good job of uh, getting the new players acclimated. We have a, uh, a lot of new players, um, but our returning players, uh, we had Abdul King sitting out, obviously, on red shirt. We had TJ uh, Jones sitting out on red shirt, and we had Eric Riley, who played a lot, Jordan Grady as well, So and Chris Hayes. So we return uh, a few players, but uh, the big thing is a lot of new players. Uh, we had... I don't think anyone lost as much uh, in the senior class that we did. Uh, obviously, when you lose Maurice, uh, Saquon, Tabari, and Josh, uh, those are big losses, uh, especially when you're looking at the percentage of offense they provided for us and defense. So when you lose players of that caliber, uh, you have to have some guys step in to, uh, to take their place. We have a bunch of new players. We have Malcolm Richardson, a transfer from East Stroudsburg, Shaquille Pratt, uh, was with us two years ago. Alan Giles is a transfer from Idaho. DJ Nicholson was from Coppin State. We have Kelvin Goodwin. Uh, people know him as Bubby from West Liberty. John Johnson was at Marshalltown Community College as along with uh, Jamal Gatali. We had Frank Holloway who was at Garrett Community College. And uh, obviously we already said we had two guys sitting out in uh, and T.J. Jones, who was at St. Thomas Aquinas before he got to Slippery Rock, and Abdul King, who was at Kutztown. So uh, 15 players in all. Um, obviously, we've been, like everybody else, getting ready for October 15th here uh, so we can get to uh, normal practices. Uh, there's a lot of things we need to do to get better, obviously, when you have uh, as many new players as we do. We, gotta, we have to get our chemistry situated. Uh, we have to get guys identify their roles and make sure guys accept their roles. All that will be done here in the first few weeks as we lead up to, uh, once again, uh, one of the toughest schedules uh, in, the, in, in our region. I think last year we had the second toughest schedule this year uh, in Adelaide league play. We, we open up with the new gym at Glenville as we play Charleston and Glenville State, two NC2A teams. And we also play in the Gannon Classic, uh, the Gary Miller Classic up in uh, Erie. Uh, open up against Otis and Broadus, who had, uh, like us, 20-plus wins but didn't get selected for the NCAA tournament, but won their league, uh, won the GMAC, and then we played Lemoyne, who was an NC2A team in the uh, East region. So uh, with those four teams uh, in the Atta League, plus uh, 22 uh, conference games uh, in the PSAC this year, going back to what it was uh, two years ago, um, it's going to be challenging, obviously. Uh, the league is good, good players, good coaches and uh, we have a lot of road games this year so uh, we're going to need to uh, uh, be as good as we've been on the road and then we need to be a little better than we've been at home even though we've been pretty good uh, I think actually more than pretty good we've been good 
think we've won over 80 percent or close to 85 percent of our home games we need to actually increase that this year that's one of our goals and then obviously we need to, to uh, keep winning at least uh, 50 60 70 percent of our road games somewhere in there uh, when you come off a 20 and 11 season and as many 20 win seasons as we have we know we have a bullseye on our back probably not as big as IUP or Gannon or East Stroudsburg but I think we'd be in the next tier team so uh, our coaches uh, did a good job in the offseason. Ian Grady, John Valeriano, Brad Henry did a good job of, of identifying players and uh, bring them and helping us get them here. And uh, now it's our job as a collective group, players and coaches, to, uh, to uh, keep uh, getting better and keep building on the uh, new winning tradition here at Slippery Rock Basketball.